Hi everyone, I'm Aaron and welcome to another video from Task Construction Group. Um, today I wanted to have a chat to you about construction costs. Um, a very common question or query that we get from clients is, is how to reduce the overall um, cost of the bill to be more in line um, with their budget. Now, before I jump into that, I just wanted to kind of explain um, how that process works, um, for us anyway. So, every client that we work with has a budget. Um, and every client that we work with values or prioritizes different things. So what that means is um, the molding of the scope to suit each individual client um, really comes down to a simple cost benefit trade off for a certain component of the build. So we would look at um, you know cost allocation um, throughout the building itself. Um, provide that information back to our clients and then you know they're armed with that information to, to undertake their own cost benefit trade-off because um, what generally happens is that priorities can change once you understand um, you know the costs of, of, of each individual um, component. It gives flexibility to be able to then go well you know I'd prefer to you know not do this certain um, area of the home um, and then take those funds and put them into you know an another area and you know I could give many many examples but one you know just on hypothetical would be you know someone valuing the thermal insulation of the home and preferring to kind of um, you know increase that um, and then whereas another client you know is less concerned with that um, but they would prefer to have that additional funds and, and you know put it into their kitchen and have a more um, high spec kitchen so it's a process um, but to answer the first thing um, that I was kind of um, I mentioned at the start of this video as far as how to do that um, is essentially um, thinking about three separate categories. And the first thing to, to note before um, kind of running through them is that costs in construction are in the labour. Materials account for only a small kind of percentage, maybe 20 to 30% of the overall build. So everything kind of comes down to, to um, to the labour component. So three categories. Um, the first one is scale. So you often hear people talking about, um, you know, square metre um, rates. Um, and then that's, that's, that's where that comes from. Essentially, the bigger the floor area, the more expensive. So um, that's, that's the, um, the overall scale of the build. The second one is the complexity. So the more detailed the um, design, um, you know, the more complex the design, if you've got, um, you know, big cantilevers or, um, you know, large, um, you know, openings internally that's going to require, you know, additional structural members, things like that. That's, that's the complexity of the build that, that will also um, add, add, add cost. And the third thing is, is your finishes. So the finishes is, is normally the first kind of go-to um, area that our clients, um, from, from, from our experience, identify. Um, however, it's probably the area that um, produces the least amount um, of change in the overall construction cost. And that, that ties back into what I was saying before, that the, the materials in a build are, are you know, only 20, 30%. So it doesn't make a huge difference. Now, there's definitely exceptions to that rule. Um, you know, kitchen bench tops being one, we, we would consider them a, um, you know, it could be considered joinery, but if you're looking at that as a material, then that is something that can, you know, drive the cost, um, um, substantially but you know other items such as tapware floor coverings um, your PC items things like that don't make a huge huge contribution so um, when you're thinking about about that um, just to summarize there the, the the scale the complexity of the finishes dependent on how far the overall cost of the build is from your budget is going to um, govern which of those three areas you're going to look at so if the price of the build is significantly um, different um, to, and I'll say significantly more to your budget, then you need to be looking at those first two categories. You need to be looking at scale and you need to be looking at complexity because they're the two areas that are gonna you know, make the, the, the biggest change in the overall price. If however, um, the, the price of the build is you know, close to your budget and, 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 and similar, then you're gonna be looking at, you know, a much um, a much less change in the overall price, and then you can kind of go, all right, well maybe I'm going to pull back on my tiles and reduce the square meter rate of them, and look at more um, kind of the, the finishes, the, the the third category there. So um, hopefully that gives you some indication into the cost of constructions. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. More than happy to have a chat. Thanks.